And now, for more insights in the films that are shaping our culture and history, reviewers Veronica Smith and Barry Pickle. Welcome, guests, to another episode of On Screen with Smith and Pickle. Today we'll talk about the film Jackie. This is director Pablo Lorraine's first English-speaking film, though it is not the first to have a political tinge. With films like No and the more recent Neruda, Jackie nestles nicely into an array of films that follow people involved in political affairs. We get to see various shades of Jackie Kennedy's grief after the assassination of her husband, John F. Kennedy, in 1963. What were your thoughts on the film, Barry? Uh, well, first off, I should have said spoiler alert. Uh, I should have said spoiler alert about what? You, you just... The JFK death. You just, you just gave it away. Uh... This, that's common knowledge, Barry. Uh, it is a historical drama. Oh, well, that makes more sense then. Well, either way, uh, you know, I thought that the movie was going to go in, in a different direction. Uh, maybe, like, missed uh, some key events um, that would have developed the story much faster. Because uh, this story was slow. I mean, you'd think a movie about an assassination would have some excitement in it. Um, I mean, all right, like, you imagine watching the TV show 24 um, and, like, this big political big wig that gets assassinated and, and then uh, Jack Bauer goes into his bedroom and starts trying on dresses and dancing around. That was this movie. Well, uh, I, I think that the movie was supposed to be about Jackie and her emotional response to the assassination, not about the assassination itself. I, I'm just saying the movie would have been better if it explored other things. Uh, well, uh, the movie was masterfully written as an original screenplay by Noah Oppenheim, um, and he worked tirelessly to ensure the historical accuracy of the film. So I'm not sure what you mean when you say that it could have gone in a different direction? Uh, well, like I said, I, I, thought, I thought the movie was missing some key plot lines. Um, from, from what I heard, um, JFK was, like, banging Marilyn Monroe. Uh, so, like, I was thinking, what if, like, Marilyn... Gets all like pissed at Jackie, and and there would be like a cat fight, and maybe while they're wrestling, like there'd be like a nip slip. Uh, that would be an entirely different film. Uh, to move on, there are two threads that go throughout the film. One is the comparison that Jackie makes at great length of Abraham Lincoln, of his status and memory, as well as the circumstances of his wife after his assassination to her and her husband. The next thread ties in with the first, um, and that is the impact that the Kennedys had on the United States. Uh, Jackie and Bobby, played by Peter Sarsgaard, discuss JFK's term cut short. What did we accomplish, Bobby asks. We're just the beautiful people. This worry of making an impact makes sense when paired with the focus on Lincoln. What Jackie seems to want most in this interview is to preserve her husband's legacy. Like, I, I kept thinking that there would be, like, this cool zombie scene. Like, like, JFK comes back to life, and, and then he's a zombie president. That could be his legacy. He, he could have solved the other Cold War. The zombie war. Uh, uh, that was Reagan. Reagan ended the Cold War. JFK was the Bay of Pigs. Are you drunk again? Shut I'm not saying anything else. You just sit there and nod. Okay? Portman's performance is a rich amalgamate of stern adamancy, uncertainty, and the contrast between unfettered and poised grief. The film really allows you to tap into these characters' lives and see behind the curtain of politics. I give this film a thumbs up for its beautiful search into the soul of 
what it means to be human, no matter how famous or powerful. How about you, Barry? Barry, you can talk. Oh, all right. Well, uh, I give this film the presidential seal of disapproval. Ask not what this movie can do for you. Ask what you can do for this movie. And you could do a lot to make this movie better. Um, I would get rid of all of the talking scenes, uh, add zombies, um, add the cat fight, uh, and make that priest that keeps blabbing on and on about guilt at the end. Uh, instead, he would be fighting like the spiritual enemy that's like the, the ghost spirits that dark... And that's that all dark... we have for today's show. Uh, join us next time as we review another film. Thank you for watching Smith and Pickle Reviews. Are you kidding me? Are you, what? Are you serious? So what the just... fuck happened?